How did you guys get started in the RV rental business? Let's see. So I guess it was in the spring of 21. Um, my father passed away and it was unexpected, but it was one of those things that makes you feel like, you know, life is short. You never know what's going to happen. And um, we decided we needed to start making some memories with our kids. And what better way to do that than to go camping and travel and do that kind of stuff. So we ended up buying our first travel trailer. It was a 24 foot long bunkhouse, sweet little thing, and thought it would be great for us. I went online trying to find campsites that we could go and check out and <laughs> go on a couple of trips and make some memories and realized that in Washington state, if you haven't booked your reservations like six to nine months in advance, you're not going to have a campsite yeah. for the summer. And Lewis is not a person who's going to sit still for very long. And so we have... Like, he's like, okay, we have this trailer now, but we can't even use it. I'm going to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> so we um, we were just looking around. And as it happens, when you're shopping for something, we started seeing ads for different RVs coming up. And we had seen some comments on a Facebook Marketplace post that said, why don't you try listing it on RV Share instead of selling it? And so we had never heard of that before. We went and checked it out. Um, we listed our first one on RV Share that month or that day. And within like five minutes of publishing the listing, we had our first reservation. So his wheels started turning, going, oh, hmm, there's something yeah. here. I was like, if I could do this with one, imagine if I had 10. Because <laughs> <laughs> we ended up getting booked out until October. So it was it was a real good success for us. Yeah. So that season we had the one and then we ended up buying another one a couple months later because we there was a lot of um, demand. And at the end of the season, we bought a third one. So we started our second season with three accumulated, I think, six more that season. So we ended that season with nine. And then this last year, we started the season with 11 and ended with 34, which is what we've got sitting out here now. Um, except for I just found out with you guys 10, 10 minutes ago that we've got three more. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just kind of grown like wildfire. Yeah. It's been kind of crazy. One thing that really, you know, people think about like these numbers and go, well, holy crap, how did, did you do you own them all? One of the things that really kind of catapulted our business and really changed everything for us is after we had bought in three, a friend of ours um, reached out and was like, hey, I've got an RV. Um, I don't use it. I'm just going to give it to you guys, uh, rent it out and we'll split the profits. Just let me use it like once or twice a year. And I was like, man. That's a great idea. Yeah. And it's got me thinking there's so many people that have bought in RVs or bought in units that they don't use them anymore. They hardly use them or once a year or whatever, right? And are like us that don't book their sites in advance and you know <laughs> can't go camping. So we were like, I started marketing and I started kind of aggressively heading towards, okay, who has a camper and who wants to make money from it?